Hey guys, how are you doing? It's KP and I'm back with another episode on the Visual Studios. As we have done earlier, I have teach you how you how to make an ADB toolkit in Visual Basic.net framework. But this time we will be going a bit advanced. So now I'm gonna teach you how you can really make some awesome tools using Visual Studios that is VB.net. So let's get started. So the first thing is open up your Visual Studios. Any Visual Studios you have, then create a new project and your Visual Basic, Visual Basic form and a .NET framework, anything you want. Rename your project from this below. I'll be renaming as ADB Toolkit Pro. Then OK. So this will be the complete series of the episode of the Visual Studios of the ADB Toolkit which we are gonna make now. And in this module what we're gonna do is we will be focusing on designing of it. So here is my form it just look like this. Okay wait. So we have our form here. Now we will adjust it to somewhat like this. So we will be focusing more on designing rather than adding codes. Now first thing is change the form name. We will name it ADB Keeper. This would be an awesome name for that. Now what my plan is, we will make a, a toolkit which can actually reboot your device. That's a normal thing we want. Install and uninstall application and some Logcat functions, some pull files and pushing files through ADB using ADB pulling you ADB push things and and some little bit tweaks. So the first thing is we will be adding a menu bar to our tool. So to do that in the toolbox search bar search for a menu strip like we have here. Enter and here it is. So this will be name as menu. This will be as about. Now you can add some cool stuff like here. So the first thing is we will start a server. Second is kill server. That's it. Okay. Then ADB device show connected sorry show devices. Now let's add some buttons over here buttons for in the middle thing the name is as install Now we will extend it somewhat to bit down. Okay, so it's looking pretty, but not the thing that I wanted. So we will be adding some group boxes. So group boxes means it's something like this. We will be grouping our things. So let us first cut those things. Adding a group box over here. You aligning it to it then pasting the buttons now it's looking perfect but still the group box need to be somewhat down Okay, so with this we have designed our form, but now again I think 
we have not added a reboot option so let me first add it over here so here reboot then reboot Now another function we will gonna add to our tool is our tool should detect the connected phones and to do that is very simple we'll be using some libraries but for now for designing it we need to show something so for that we will use a picture box with the size 20 by 20 dark red and a label Okay, so with this, we have perfectly designed our form. So this is how our tool really looks like. You have seen the things that we're gonna do. Is the first thing is menu thing that will start server, curl server, show our device, reboot our phone to this much things. Then we have an about section which will visit my web page, a help and support site, open source that is on the GitHub. This in this main group. We have install and install app and uninstall app. We have manager box in which we will push files, pull files consecutively from our device and side load and file. In the two tweaks section, we have logcat, screenshot and screen. So this will be the auto detect function that I have integrated. It means that once whenever we will connect our phone to PC or laptop, this color will change to green. And here the text should be changed to something like device found in Android, device found in recovery and the else things. Okay, so this was for the today's video. I hope you, you like it. Stay tuned for the next series that I'll be uploading in the next week. Cause you know, I'm just a bit stuck in some classes, studies and you know, J stuff like J entrance exam. I'm going to be an engineer in future. I hope so. So thank you guys for watching and peace out.